Mark from Lexi Media and MailchimpMadeEasy.com and in this video I'm going to go over how we integrate MailChimp with ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is a popular piece of software that a lot of people use to create landing pages uh, to collect email information off people uh, in order to deliver say a free product or service. Now the problem with ClickFunnels is it doesn't give us options of putting our subscribers into our MailChimp groups or adding tags and then thus being able to segment people and deliver automated emails correctly. So if we have, let's say, three offers in ClickFunnels for offer A, B, and C, we can send people from ClickFunnels to our MailChimp account through the integration, but it doesn't segment people depending which list they signed up for, which means we cannot create in MailChimp an automated email sequence to target people depending on what list they signed up for, okay? What we want is if somebody signs up for offer A on landing form A, then we can set up an email to go out on MailChimp um, that will deliver offer A to them. Now, I know ClickFunnels does have an automated email system built into it where it, that can send out the offer. Um, but then if we're using MailChimp and we're using ClickFunnels, it kind of gets a bit messy in the process. It would be nice if ClickFunnels just sends the data over to MailChimp and let's let MailChimp do what it does best and that does the emails for us. Uh, but like I say, it doesn't segment people so we cannot trigger an automated email based on the right criteria. Um, so we're gonna look at how to get around that um, using some a platform called Zapier, okay? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to dive into ClickFunnels. Uh, I've got this test account set up uh, ClickFunnels isn't a platform I use, so we've got this uh, test account set up for this demonstration. And we are going to go to integrations. Uh, and this should have been deleted. Let's just delete this and I'll show you how to add it. And I will move me out of the way as well. Okay. Okay, so quite simple to add. And we'll go back again up to go away up to your account, go to integrations. It brings us to this page. Click on add integration. And we can find MailChimp, which is down here. OK, we can search it up here, but we can see it's just down here anyway. OK, so we're going to give it a nickname. So I'm going to call it the LexiArt MailChimp. Uh, that's the nickname. So the API key we get from our MailChimp account, if you don't know how to do that, we go to our account in the top right corner, under Extras, and go to API Keys. Now we can pick any active API key here, make sure it's active. Uh, if we haven't got one, we simply click Create a Key, and it generates a key as well. So we copy uh, this key, and then in ClickFunnels, we will go in here and paste it, okay? And we can add the integration. Super, MailChimp is connected. Next, let's look at our funnels. Now I haven't actually got a funnel set up yet, so we're gonna click on one. Uh, let's just create a quick funnel, collect emails. Uh, for, let's call it a first funnel. Okay, so we're on the, it's a two-step opt-in, opt-in and thank you page. So I'm just going to pick any template and uh, just, just apply that for now. I'm not going to make any design changes for this. It's just for demonstration reasons. Um, so we're just, we're just going to pick a template and just leave it as it is. Uh, we'll go to edit the page. And under the settings, we need to add the integration to MailChimp which is the one we've just created um, in our main settings, okay? So the options we've got, add to list. Which list to add to? We've only got the one list, Lexi Art. Do I want to send the confirmation email out? Not on this occasion, I do not. But as you can see here, there's no settings to add to groups within MailChimp. There's no settings to add tags to people uh, when they go to MailChimp. So we, we, if we've got three, three sign-up forms, 
and we've got several hundred people signing up on each form. When we look at the data in MailChimp, we've just got a load of people who've come from ClickFunnels, and we don't know which offer people have selected. Okay, um, so that's um, something that's quite frustrating about ClickFunnels. It's not got the relevant segmentation information in it. Okay, but we're just going to save that anyway for now. And then we'll go back. Let's just add something to the thank you page. When it loads, uh, let's just pick anyone. Let's just select that template. Okay, and again, let's just quickly edit the page. And let's add the integration again. Add to list, LexiArt, do not send confirmation email, and save. Okay, uh, updates will appear in the next minute. Um, okay, so in the meantime, let's just go to our list, our audience. And we're going to go and view the contacts. Okay, so we've we've created the two pages in ClickFunnels. We've added the integration to Mailchimp. Um, what we're going to do is a quick demonstration and go through the opt-in process, and you will see that people do go to MailChimp, but they are not segmented, okay? Okay, so we're past 39, let's go and sign up. Okay, so we're gonna put in a, in any old name, and we'll put an email address beginning with a, email address here, that's out. Okay, so we've gone through the process. This could be like, you know, I, I want the ebook on something really amazing. Um, and it says thanks, you know, on the thank you page, it would say thank you. Go and check your emails. Your ebook is on its way to you. Okay, so what we'd want in this situation is for uh, an automation within MailChimp to trigger uh, to then send people an email containing that offer A, which would be the ebook. Now, if we look at our contacts, we should see okay so there we have uh, the email address that we've just subscribed with okay but as you can see we've got no tags uh, we're in no groups uh, the source is via the API because ClickFunnels integrates via the API uh, so there's no segmentation. So what would we trigger an email off? We could only trigger an email off um, to welcome a new subscriber. Now, that email would then welcome any subscriber from any sign-up form anywhere. And if, it, if you've got people coming from uh, three different landing pages within um, uh, click, click funnels, then you are going to have the same email going out to everybody um, and that's not really what we want. We want separate emails going out depending on the offer that we're offering. Okay. So what we need to do on this in, in this case is we need to use a platform called Zapier. There are other platforms out there like Zapier, uh, but Zapier is the one I use. Zapier is the one I prefer. Uh, Zapier is the one I've gotten to use, uh, gotten to know most out of all of them, and it's been absolutely great. What Zapier does is it takes information off one platform and then it sends it to another platform. Okay, so what we can do is we can set up what, what Zapier call a zap and it's looking for certain criteria to happen within any of the platforms that you've got registered with it. And then you set up rules that if, if, this, if, if this happens, then send this data to here. So what we can do is we can have it monitor our ClickFunnels account and we can have it monitor a certain funnel 
and if, if something happens, basically somebody submits their information, then we can then tell it to collect that data and then send it to MailChimp. And we've got options of using tags and putting into groups as well. Um, Zapier opens up many more options as well. We could have an instant text message go out to us. So if we are collecting leads for, say, people who may be interested in booking uh, a free, uh, let's say, a free PT session, if you're a PT, then you could have this where people submit their, their, their opt-in and uh, send some information to MailChimp. So it sends out like a welcome email, but it also sends you a text on your mobile phone so that you've got an instant alert and then maybe you can contact them straight away to get them booked in, you know, while the lead's quite hot. Okay, so Zapier is really good. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up for uh, sending people to MailChimp. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is just go quickly go into each of these pages and remove uh, that MailChimp integration. Okay, settings, integrations, let's remove that one, save. And let's edit the thank you page. Remove the integration. We probably could just remove the main integration from our account settings. I'm not too sure. Um, it might create an error on the pages saying it's got nowhere for, because we've got the integration set up there as well. So I'm just going to remove it from all three locations. Okay. Delete. Okay. So that's gone. So we have not got now, we have not got ClickFunnels connected to MailChimp. Okay. We're not integrating the two platforms. Okay. So what we're going to do is dive into Zapier. Um, and when you've created an account, uh, simply go to make a new Zap. And what we're looking for is the trigger. Uh, let's just give it a name first. We're going to call this ClickFunnels to MailChimp for offer a test okay so let's choose an app that we want to start with so we can scroll down here we can see some some of the um some of the most popular apps but there are absolutely thousands of apps that we can choose from in uh, in zapier to connect with okay and click funnels which i just saw somewhere there it is let's just yeah, click Okay, so what we're looking for, um, if we're looking for a purchase, then if, if you're selling something, then we're looking for a new purchase. Uh, if we're looking for a new contact activity, so that's basically somebody uh, who signed up. Sorry, that's a new, that's a successful purchase, new contact or a failed purchase. So we can, we could send information over to Mailchimp different ways. So if we're selling something, then we could have a successful purchase, send the information over to Mailchimp. Uh, puts them into a group, triggers an email, job done. Uh, if we have a failed purchase, we may want to set up an automation based around that just to kind of chase up people. Um, so again, it'll send the information over to MailChimp, it'll put them into, say, let's call it a failed purchase group, uh, trigger an email saying, hey, there's been an issue with your payment or something like that. Um, please, you know, come back to us, uh, order again or something like that. If you're not actually buying anything, if you're just collecting leads, then we're looking at the contact activity. Um, that is not the right account. We're going to connect a new account. Uh, so because I am logged in on ClickFunnels already, it's recognized that and we're going to authorize that. Uh, and that's the account. Is that my account? Don't even think I've named this account. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, that's the account. We can test. Yeah, successfully connected. Save and continue. Okay, so what? Uh, 
So what in this account are we looking for? So we've got that click funnels account. We're going to have multiple funnels in there. So what are we looking for? We're looking for, uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah, so which funnel step should we watch for, for new contacts? We're looking for opt-in. That's where people put their information and which funnel. So we've only got the first, we've only got the, the funnel. So we've got the first funnel. So that's uh, where we pick our particular funnel, but you know, you could have off a B, off a C. And um, that's the funnel where we select. And then this is the, where the information is inputted by, um, by the user. Okay. Okay, so it's looking for some samples. It's always better to do this after you've done some test uh, information. So as we've gone through the process of doing the demonstration earlier, we can see that we do actually have some contacts in here and you'll see some more where I've just been playing about just to make sure it all works. We've got all these uh, test submitted information already on the form. Okay. So Zappi has now looked at some test samples. It's looked in to get some samples, some information. Um, and we can see this, it's picked up on three, but we can, we can see more. Um, it's going to, you know, it's going to keep checking to look for some more information. Um, not too worried about that for now, but what we can do is we can see the information, uh, all, all the data that uh, ClickFunnels has collected on this person. Um, so we've got things like last name, uh, it's got a unique ID, first name, um, yeah, again, contact profile, last name, uh, when it was updated, yeah, another ID number, first name, uh, we've got the email address. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's a lot of information that um, ClickFunnels is actually collecting on people when they sign up, okay? Uh, so we can pick any of those, let's just pick that one for now. Uh, let's just cancel that extra search. So I'm gonna pick contact A, Let's just go back to that. I'm just going to take a note uh, of the. Oh, we'll roll through it in a minute. Don't worry about that. Let's continue. Okay, so it's saying it lacks an action step. So it's basically looking for this action. What does it want to do? So let's add an action step here. So what we're going to do, we're going to send information to MailChimp. We are going to add or update a subscriber. It could be somebody who's already on our list that's opting in for an, a second offer. Uh, so we want it to add or update, depending whether they're on our list or not already, okay? Um, so we're connected to the Lexi Arts MailChimp account. If you're not connected, you go to connect the account here and you go through the process of logging on and connecting to your MailChimp account, okay? So we'll save and continue that. So the template is going to ask us our audience or what used to be called our list. Uh, so we've only got one list, which is Lexi Art. And um, now it's what, what it's going to ask for here is what information is going to go into the subscriber email field. So we're going to look at the data we've got from the ClickFunnels account. OK, so it's looking at new contact activity from ClickFunnels. What information do we want to put in the email field? Well, it's the email address, isn't it? So we select the email. Um, is this a double opt-in list um, or are we going to make people go through the double opt-in process? Let's just go to no to that. They want the information straight away. Um, update existing. Yes, we want that to update existing. If people are opting in for something that are already on your list, then if we don't have the update existing selected or set to yes, then it's going to basically try and subscribe somebody again. And if they're already subscribed, you're going to get errors generated within MailChimp and then the process won't work, okay? So if they're already on the list, we want it to update them. If they're not on the list already, it doesn't matter. Um, it will still subscribe them anyway, okay? Um, so we want this selected to yes. Replace groups. Do we want to replace groups for people so if people have opted in for a people have opted in for b and now they're opting in for c do we want to replace all that previous group information or do we just want to add them to that group we just want to add them okay if we do replace it's going to take them out of group a it's going to take them out of group b 
and it's just going to put them back in. It's just going to end up putting them in Group C when they sign up for the Group C offer. Now you might have different things going on with different groups. Um, if you're running a course and you want to know you, you've got all your course students in a group, then if they then go along and opt in for one of your other offers for just a, a free report for some reason, uh, and you don't and you have this set to replace, then it's going to take them out of the course group, and then they're not going to get any of the emails that are relevant to being in that course. Okay, so you, it's very rare you want to actually um, replace the groups. What we want to do is just have um, add only, and it gives a bit of a bit more information here. Here, add only uh, the groups specified specified below will be added to to the subscribers' existing groups our interests okay it won't replace them it will add it to their existing ones okay and then we select a group um, within MailChimp and actually I haven't actually got any groups set up on here at the moment so I'm just going to quickly do that uh, let's quickly create a group and We don't want to show it. We're going to call it ClickFunnels Groups. TF Groups. Have of A. Offer B. Let's see. Let's just add those groups. Oh. Let's just save that. Okay. We're done for now. Okay. Let's just click on this refresh fields. All right. Let's have a look. Groups. They have not loaded yet. Wait again. Okay, so we're just going to click on this check MailChimp and reload to bring in new choices. Okay, there we go. We've got the groups now. So the groups are showing up. Uh, so this is going to be offer A. We want them to go into group A, into group offer A. Okay, language code, don't worry about that. Uh, we've got first name field. So we want, um, we've got the first name. Again, just like emails, what it's going to do here, we, we, in MailChimp, we're asking for people's first name. In ClickFunnels, we're asking for people's name, and it's collecting data on first name and last name. Okay, so what data do we want out of ClickFunnels uh, to go into the MailChimp first name? Of course, it's not, well, we're not selecting the full name, we're selecting the first name, okay? And the same for last name. There we go. Um, we've also got in our MailChimp list, I've got this data use agreement set up. Um, and we haven't actually selected, we haven't actually put a field or checkbox or anything in for people to do that. Uh, but obviously we'd set that up properly so that they'd have to chip, select that checkbox. Um, and then we could you know, link that as well. Uh, now this is optional. We haven't got anything that matches it within uh, ClickFunnels. So I'm just gonna leave that blank there, okay? continue okay so it's looking now at sending the test subscriber data to MailChimp it's given a bit of an overview um, the audience is going to what email address it's going to pick up on uh, is it double opt-in that's false update existing groups uh, so, uh, sorry update existing subscribers that's true replace groups no only add only uh, what group we want them to go in uh, first name last name and yeah, so we can send that test to MailChimp and it will actually send that data that it's scoured off ClickFunnels and send it into MailChimp. So we should be able to see that um, in our MailChimp account. Now, that, uh, let's see, groups, let's go to our contacts, view contacts. Okay, so we can see the email, any testing email at hotmail.com. Any testing email at hotmail.com. Okay, so that's the test data there. And as we can see, if we scroll along, uh, this is now in a group. So we've got the offer a group. So we can now have an automation that's triggered by somebody joining a group. Um, and it will send out the relevant e email out to these people. Okay, so we've now segmented that person who signed up via that form. 
uh, and that was just scouring the information um, from, a, a, from, from setting it up. So what we want to do is just finish that. Um, I'm going to put it in the test folder. And we're going to turn that zap on, okay? So that zap is now active. So I can see it on my list of zaps, okay? In my test folder, we've got this click funnels to MailChimp offer a test. Um, now, if I look over here at task history, we can see that it's not actually run yet. Uh, this task hasn't been triggered yet. We've only sent that sample information over. So let's just quickly dive into MailChimp, uh, sorry, ClickFunnels. Let's go to that funnel. Um, yeah, let's open up the landing page. And let's enter some information. Let's, what should we call this one? A new name, a new name. And again, let's just put in a random email address. Let's call it a, a, a new email at hotmail.com. Okay, so we're going to click to sign up. And there's the thank you page and that has been sent, okay. So I'm just going to close that. Now what we can do is we can go into Zapier and we can look at the history. We can just refresh this page to see. And as we can see now, we've now got this click funnel to MailChimp off a test has been triggered. Uh, that is the, that's the action. And we can see the information that's been sent to so the data that's come in from ClickFunnels. We can see um, the first name was Anu and surname. Uh, where have we got? What have we got? Oh, yeah, sorry. First name, Anu, last name, name. So that's what we did. We said Anu name. And the email address was Anu email at hotmail.com. So the data's come in, the data has gone out to MailChimp. We can see that within Zapier, we can see the data. So if we go over to our MailChimp list and refresh. And there we are, we've got a new email, a new name, and segmented, segmented into offer a group. Um, so yeah, that's how we can use Zapier to better you to better collect our subscriber information uh, from ClickFunnels and put them into groups and then trigger automated emails by joining a group okay and um, if you're not sure how to set up an automated email I've got some more resources on my uh, Facebook group so I'd love to see you in there if you go to uh, MailChimpMadeEasy.com there will be information there uh, on how to get to the group. Alternatively, if you're in Facebook, do a search for MailChimp Made Easy in groups and you will find us there. Send a, send a request to jump in and I'd love to see you in there where I can offer you some more training. And don't forget as well, I've got the fully comprehensive MailChimp Made Easy online course. Um, Again, go to MailChimpMadeEasy.com, you'll find m more information about the course, but it covers so much about getting your MailChimp account set up, um, getting your platform ready, uh, creating automated emails and doing so much more, uh, and it will really sort of help you benefit that as well. So go take a look and I will see you soon.